All right, so let's go to the actual command file of the chat filter system. Let's go to systems, chat filter. So you should already have this if you uh, uh, if you followed along part one of uh, this uh, chat filter system. Uh, if you haven't, click the card up to the right of your screen and you should be good. Um, all right, so let's start out by creating or expanding the command and creating a, a clear uh, a clear command to clear basically your uh, array of blacklist. Uh, pretty simple it's going to be a sub command so let's go to our options here let's do it on top put a comma at the end of this object block and what we're going to be doing here is uh, naming the actual sub command to be clear in description we're going to set it to be clear your blacklist you can customize um, these descriptions and embeds as, as much as you want uh, and the type is obviously going to be sub command now it's a simple sub command we don't need any uh, other user input that's all we need uh, and now let's scroll down to our switch statement where we switch between our sub commands and here we're gonna create a new case and we're gonna create a case for clear so in case the sub command chosen was clear then we're gonna execute the code inside of this uh, uh, code block so it's only gonna be three lines of code basically so first off we're gonna uh, actually get the um, access the database and clear the uh, the array of words so here we're going to type await schema dot find one is it find one and update because that's what we're going to be doing and guild is going to equal to the guild id of this interaction and then the updated version is going to be outside of this code like you see here this is the filter the query and the update is in another object and here we're gonna basically type words and we're gonna equal it to an empty array just like this uh, and then we have to also clear the, the the temporary collection so we're gonna access the client those filters so client those filters uh, those set and here we're gonna set the guide id all right and then we're gonna set also an empty array inside of the blacklist uh, where the blacklist word should be okay, all right and then we're gonna interaction dot reply here we're gonna say cleared the blacklist you can customize these messages as uh, as much as you want uh, and by the way guys um i didn't mention that but let's mention it now because it's a big system uh we have to defer it the because we're gonna also create a help command and uh, a get blacklist command or list the blacklist uh, uh, array uh, it's Better to be on the safer side and defer the reply. Why are we going to be deferring the reply is because the API expects a response to the interaction within three seconds of uh, whenever the command was executed. And if you fail to uh, reply to that interaction after three seconds, then it's going to error out. So it's pretty simple to do it. You just go on top of the uh, top of your file. You can do it whatever here. Let's do it under here. Here we're going to type await interaction dot uh, defer reply and that's about it why are we gonna await because sometimes the code goes fast you know because javascript is fast uh, and it's it it uh, that hopes over this it doesn't wait for it to happen and it, it's gonna execute whatever uh, you chose to execute uh, so that's why we're gonna put a wait and um, like you see here we replied you need to change every single interaction reply to interaction dot edit reply because technically you've already replied to the interaction by deferring it so when that's all over and, and done you can uh, edit the reply instead of replying pretty simple uh, stuff all right so let's now actually try out our command so if i remember correctly we don't have any blacklist in here yeah it's empty so let's sort a bot and we will uh, add a word or two to the blacklist all right so now we're gonna do filter uh, let's see configure add let's say add uh, asd all right add the new word to the blacklist now if you go to the blacklist you're gonna see asd let's add a couple of more words uh, so filter configure options let's say qwe uh, trt whatever you know and i'm placing a comma to add multiple words to the uh, array and let's type this ram random whatever all right now if we go to the database we should see the array contains three or I mean four indexes or four values, right? But you don't want to go uh, go through uh, all of them all at once. Uh, I mean, sorry, 
um, every single one of them and remove them manually so that's where the clear command comes so now if we do slash filter and actually let's try to send the word for example so ast it should be deleted uh, because it's a blacklisted word now if we type slash cle uh, filter clear all right then we should see clear the blacklist now if i type asd nothing should happen because we removed this from the blacklist and if we go to the database and refresh it we will see the words array is now empty so pretty simple stuff uh, now we'll move on to um to the get or a list the blacklist command and for that we're going to be using a source pin we're not going to be using pagination with the embed because it's seems unnecessary and let's say for example your friend has a has a server and you want to give them give them your uh, your list uh, you can do uh, it's easier to do it uh, to, to do this this way all right for that we're going to be needing a package which is called source pin i know most of you guys have used source pin to, uh, to provide your code to somebody or upload your code so all you need to do is go to your terminal type npm i source bin and you should be all right all right so let's let me actually make the view a little better for you zoom in just like this i hope this is better this is the clear command all right so let's go and create another sub command and let's copy this one for example we could, just because we're lazy and uh, rename it to be a uh, list and here we're gonna rename this to list your blacklist and it's also gonna be a sub command so it's very simple uh, let's go down to the switch statement again create another case and it's gonna be list all right, and we're gonna execute whatever inside of or between this column and the brick. Uh, in here, we're gonna fetch the data, so we're gonna type const data equals await schema dot find one. All right, we're gonna find one with the guide id that equals to this guide id. All right, then we're gonna go down one line, and here we can check if exclamation mark data. So if, if the the user didn't set up the system initially, we're gonna return with an interaction dot edit reply uh, with there is no data to list for example you can customize these messages as much as you would like all right uh, and then we're gonna uh, require a source pin inside of here uh, so we're gonna type const source pin equals to require see here source pin pretty simple all right, then we're gonna go down a couple more lines over here. All right, we're gonna go down here, and here we're gonna say await source pin dot create. And here in the first, uh, we're gonna provide an array first of all, and the content inside of the object inside of that array uh, is gonna is gonna be basically the words. So to do that, we're gonna type data dot words. I, I like to add back ticks and do this, uh, but you do it as uh, however you want. So data dot words dot map we're gonna map the word uh, so let's make this w you can name it whatever you want doesn't ma really matter and then we're gonna join with a space you can join with a comma if you want but if you didn't find any data inside of the array then we're gonna type none pretty simple and then language is gonna be plain text because it's not really a code it's just a bunch of uh, words all right so now inside of the array uh, i mean outside of the array we're gonna place a comma we're gonna create another object and inside of that object we're gonna set the title of uh, of uh, the source pin you can also do guide.name but i like to use my back text. it's just personal preference it doesn't matter so here we're gonna type guide name and then we're gonna say for example black list just like that and then the description of it is gonna be say if you can say it whatever you want i'm gonna say it to whatever all right uh, all right because it's a promise we're gonna add a dot then so and uh, we're gonna make the value to be for example bin just like this all right then we're gonna interaction dot edit reply and the content of, this, of it is gonna be the bin dot url so far so good it's this is basically it so let's restart the bot. All right, I'm pretty sure we cleared all of the words in the blacklist. So let's add a couple of words: so filter, configure, add, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's add list, list code at, at the end. All right. So now our array should have a couple of words in it. Now, if I do slash filter list, it should return with a link, uh, just like now. And that's why it's good to defer because it took a little while. All right. So now, if we open this up, all right. 
you can see uh, you can see basically the words that we have in the database just like this all right so now we're done with our list and our clear commands so that's very good and uh, now we'll add a simple um, fairly easy command which is help because it's a big system as you see a lot of sub commands and we're going to be expanding it even more uh, as i stated in in my discord announcement um we're going to create a help command all right it's going to be specific for this uh, filter later on in the series we're going to create a help command for every command that we have it's going to be automated but for the system we'll need a specific one so let's create a new sub command and we'll name name it help for example and then here we can say help whatever you want i don't want to uh, sit here for an hour and figure something out to type all right so in here it's pretty simple it's just a simple embed so let's create another case and case help then we can execute whatever in between this column and the break uh, all right so if you guys notice here we are not returning all right because we don't need to return because the statement is already going to be broken when, whenever this code is done you know uh, all right so in the help here we're going to create an embed so const embed equals to new message embed and you need to require this from the discord package which i've done over here all right so now we're going to go down one more line let's set the color to be for example a green whatever all right for our description we're going to actually create an array and then we're going to join an array by a, a new line it's a tip that i got from uh, kevin fogg then it's pretty good uh, all right so in here we're gonna basically add a string let's make it bold and inside of it for example we will say how do i add or remove a word from the blacklist very simple all right then we're gonna create a new line here and we're gonna say by using slash filter and here we can say for example uh, what was it how is it configure all right configure and then it has uh, options and here we can say for example add or remove and then we can say word and you should do this for every single command that we have so i'm gonna create one more let's say how do i clear my blacklist and we'll make it bold the here we can say by using slash filter and clear it's pretty simple and then we're gonna join the array so join and we're gonna join it by uh, a new line all right and then we're gonna interaction dot edit reply and we're gonna provide the actual embed inside of the embeds array pretty simple and straightforward now if you go and tap node space dot all right and here we're gonna type filter help and we'll see the embed with whatever we wrote in it so you should do this for every single command that you have i'm not gonna do it and waste your time it's just personal preference uh, but yeah so in this episode we basically created our list clear at help command and we're gonna have auto moderation later on let's go to my discord for example and uh, announcement and here we stated what we're gonna be adding to the system as you guys have voted for 83 people to 13 so all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you uh, in the next one